Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. Let's create Add Employer REST API, Open Employee Controller, and here just uh, let me write the comment Create Employee REST API. Alright, just create a method first public and employee. So this REST API returns a employee object as a JSON. So let's keep employee as a return type. And the name of the method is create employee and just pass employee object as a method argument. Okay. And this method returns employee object, right? So let's call employee repository dot save method so save method return a employee object so let's pass employee object as a method argument to the save method now we have created a method okay let's use annotations to make this method as a rest endpoint let's use at the rate post mapping annotation so this method will handle http post request hence we are going to use at the rate post mapping annotation and let's configure url over here slash employees and post request contains a json request body right and json request body we are going to directly map to the employee object so let's use at the rate for that let's use at the rate request body annotation that's it guys very simple rest api now what we'll do we'll start the tomcat server that is we'll just run our spring boot project and we'll test create employee rest api using postman rest client now look at here our spring boot application is up and running our embedded tomcat server on port 08080 now let's go back to the postman rest client and let us test the api so look at here the http method is post and this is the rest endpoint url localhost 8080 slash api slash v1 slash employees and in a header just type content type as application slash json and in the body select a raw and give a json request uh, you know uh, body like this first name tom last name cruise email id tom at the red gmail gmail.com hit send button so look at here we got a successful response with http status 200 okay all right guys we have successfully stored a recording to a database let's go ahead and let's verify open mysql workbench and just execute select query on employees table so look at here a new record is successfully inserted into a database all right now what we'll do we'll add one more record let's give a post name as amir and last name as khan and email as amir at the red gmail.com and hit send button so look at here we got a response and let's verify a record in a database table here we go so look at here record is added to the database it's pretty simple all right great we have successfully created add employee rest api thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next one